Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box and Merry Christmas! And one of my favourite parts of the Christmas season is of course all the holiday dolls which come out. And today I'm really excited because we are opening all of the holiday dolls I could find for this year. We have the Disney Store holiday doll, we have Barbie, of course, classic, and we have Monster High holiday doll. First of all, if you love dolls as much as I do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check me out on Instagram and TikTok. And let me know your thoughts and feelings on these dolls in the comments as we go. I am super grateful because this Holiday Barbie, the 2023 Holiday Barbie, was gifted to me by Simon's Collectibles, a great friend of the channel. Simon's Collectibles have sent me quite a few dolls in the past. I've made quite a few videos unboxing some of the dolls they've gifted me, which is so kind of them. Simon's Collectibles is a great tool for any doll collector or toy collector. They have such an extensive catalogue of toys you can order and they're all incredibly reasonably priced. And today I have an affiliate link. I have an affiliate link which I'm super excited about. The link is in the description. Anyone who uses my link will get 15% off and I also get a commission so please go and check out Simon's Collectibles and order some dolls. But anyway, let's get on with the video and let's unbox some of these incredible dolls. <laughs> Not a great start. First of all, let's really quickly talk about the packaging. Here we have the holiday Barbie doll in her box and she looks absolutely stunning here. I do really like this box, it's very festive. Up here it says 35th anniversary. That is because this is the 35th year that they have been making holiday Barbie dolls now. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you may know I own every single Holiday Barbie ever made. And I made a video a couple of years back where I went through every single one. I'll put a link to that video in the description and somewhere on the screen. So that you can get up to date on all the amazing looks coming from Barbie each holiday season. There's lots of gold and red, very festive colours. On the back here you can see the other dolls which are available. I think people are really excited about this one. Um, I do love the fact that she has a high ponytail. Up here it says, For 35 years, holiday Barbie dolls have turned festive moments into cherished memories. Inspired new family traditions and filled the season with goodwill and joy. Aw, isn't that adorable? And then obviously it's written in about a thousand different languages. So there is Barbie's box. Now let's have a look at another Mattel property. This is of course Monster High. The boxes are like very similar shapes and designs. Um, obviously keeping the Mattel branding consistent. I do really love this like purpley uh, logo here. It's a really nice mix of obviously like Christmas aesthetics like the snowflakes and kind of Halloween spooky Monster High aesthetics like the moons and the cobwebs. I think that's really clever. It is giving Nightmare Before Christmas and I love that film. I also love Halloween so the more we inject some Halloween into Christmas, I love that. Um, I'm a big Halloween girly. I'm definitely more of a Halloween girly than I am a Christmas girly. It says winter edition down here. It doesn't- it says Howl-a-day. Howl-a-day, get it? <laughs> I'm not sure how much I like the yellow. Uh, it's not like the most Christmassy colour. Um, but I love this. The moon looks really great. It says Claudine Wolf is ready to slay in an icy lavender holiday gown. With crescent moons and spider webs spun in dazzling gold and fabulous faux fur. May the full moon make your holidays scary and bright. You know what? We love a pun. Monster High is famous for their puns. Work. There are these really incredible images of her here. Last year I was really sad because I could not find the um, Monster High Holiday doll anywhere. It wasn't sold that many places in the UK. Neither was this doll, although it is sold on Simon's Collectibles, so go and check that out. But I managed to get the one from last year this year. I'm really excited. I had to pay like £100 for her, because um, she's really rare in the UK for some reason. But I love her. I actually love her. I do think I prefer her to this one, but I'll reserve judgement until I've got this doll out of the box. There is Claudine's box. Last but certainly not least, we have Tiana from the Disney Store, and I'm obsessed. I, I'm really obsessed. 
Um, last year I think I said that the Disney Store doll was my favourite holiday doll of that year. It was Tinkerbell. I do think I preferred this one overall, but like I said before, I'm going to wait till I get her out of the box. In the bottom you can see a bit of a kind of Bayou, like, vibe mixed in with classic holiday iconography like snowflakes again. We have a frog in here. Weirdly, weirdly, this is the 2024 holiday special edition. Why 2024? That's next year. I, that's very weird. They seem to have like skipped over 2023. Um, don't really know what to make of that. The back is super shiny and it says, Tis the season for warm wishes and dreams coming true. Unwrap a regal winter with this charming holiday doll collection, celebrating our line of princess royalty. Disney royalty. Designed by Disney artists, this Tiana doll sparkles bright and captures the glow of our festive fairy tale beauty. Princess Tiana's warmth shines throughout the bayou and comes to life even more for this magical season. Cherish the holidays with this keepsake collection that's sure to be a treasure for years to come. Slay. Slay. I do really love, I do really love this line and I think every year they do a really good job of like bringing the aesthetic of the film to life in a kind of Christmassy way and this one's stunning. So far we've had Ariel, Rapunzel, Tinkerbell and now Tiana. I think Tiana may end up being my favourite. Okay doll fans, so I've shown you the packaging, now I'm going to take them out of the box and we're going to talk about the dolls individually and then we're going to like compare and contrast and decide which one is our favourite. Okay, doll fans, they are all out of their box, and I'm definitely feeling the Christmas spirit because these dolls are stunning. They are stunning. Pretty much all of them have, like, pros and cons, which I'll get into in a moment. I'm having to hold Tiana up because she doesn't have a stand. The other two have a stand. So let's talk about Tiana first. You guys can go stand in the waiting room. <laughs> now, I have to say, this outfit is beautifully designed, and... As per usual with the Disney store, the dolls really feel like very luxurious. There's a lot of quality and attention to detail. I love this new face mold for Tiana, first things first. Stunning, stunning. She's got like gold makeup, which is very cute and in keeping with the little gold accents on the outfit. She has this really beautiful like 1920s inspired little tiara headdress thing on with like proper material feathers coming out the top there. She not only has a really cute fluffy shawl with little gold tassels at the bottom but she also has this incredibly made jacket, floor length jacket. It's made out of like velvet and it has this gold pattern on the side which is really giving like 1920s Bayou, but also Christmas. Um, unfortunately, the glitter, the glitter design doesn't carry into the back. One, one con for this doll, but mostly pros so far. She also has this long, um, beaded pearly necklace, which is very cute. And then her dress is like so stunning. It's nearly floor length at the front and then has a train out the back of this incredible pleated tall. I really love the dress. But I think one of my favourite parts of this doll are these super cool, like, gold and pearly white, like, boots. They are so stunning. On her dress as well, you can see these, like, incredible, like, gold designs. I am obsessed with this doll. Her hair is styled slightly differently to how she normally has it. It's pulled into a little side pony. I love this for Tiana. She also has these like lacy gloves. The material is a little bit cheap for these, but still an incredible little extra added touch. The, the one on this side is fraying quite badly, but it's still really, really cool. She also has great articulation. She's articulated at the shoulder and the wrist and the elbow as well as having the bendable, rubbery legs. She has the old body mould, not one of the newer body moulds that we see some of the Disney Store dolls having, but I think overall, this doll is just so opulent and ostentatious, and I, ju I love this outfit. I love this doll. 
Okay, next up, let's talk about one of the most famous, popular fashion dolls of all time, celebrating 30 years of making holiday dolls. She's a true trailblazer. We have Barbie, and of course, she is dressed all in gold this time. Um, I feel like we've seen gold quite a lot. That's one thing I would say. We see gold and red quite a lot. Um, I'd love to see them experiment with different kind of festive colours, maybe like a royal blue. That would be great. But I have to say, I do really like this doll. I especially like it more than last year's doll. Last year's doll was really beautiful, very cute. Uh, it was really beautiful, but it felt unfinished, that doll. It needed a little bit more embellishment. A little bit more embellishment, which I feel like this doll definitely has. But let's talk about her in more detail. She has beautiful, stunning makeup. I love her red lips. There is a lot of glue in her hair. And it looks really cute from the front, but on the back, it's a little bit of a mess. I think I'm probably going to try and, um wash some of this glue out because it, it's not it's not the best but from the front it looks really incredible and she has these gold star earrings this is an earring mold which I don't think I've seen before but I really really like it and my one's facial screening is really good like there is no pixelation whatsoever now the first thing I really like about this doll is the cape it's just a new idea we haven't seen a holiday doll with a cape before, and I think that's such a cute idea. I wish the cape was longer, though. I would have loved the cape to be, like, down to here. That would have been really cool, and a little bit more dramatic. But still, it's really cute and very unique. The top half of the dress is made out of this, like, stretchy gold material, and I really like it. It's really nicely constructed. It fits her really, really well. And then the bottom half of the dress is really cool. It's got this, like, really thick gold material underneath. And then on top, it's got this beautiful tool, which I really like. The one thing I would change, though, is these gold stars. I would have them on both parts. I don't know why they're only on the top. I think it would be cool if they were on both. That would have looked like, just would have just elevated it a little bit more. But yeah, I really, really like this glittery tool. Again, very opulent. She has this chunky gold bracelet as well, which matches the star earrings. She also has these gold high-heeled shoes. I don't love these. They stay on very well, though. Uh, they're fitted really nicely. But yeah, I don't know, that they're fine. They're, they're, they're not super exciting, but they're fine. She also has red painted nails, which I think is really cute. Overall, I really like this year's Holiday Barbie. I think it's one of the better ones we've had in recent years. I'm a really big fan. What do you guys think of this year's Holiday Barbie? And finally, coming to the main stage, we have Claudine Wolf in her holiday outfit. I think one of the first things I'd say about this outfit is it's not screaming holiday to me. I think maybe the fur and uh, the gold is kind of giving festive, but there's nothing really about it that screams festive to me, but what do you guys think? I do really like her stand though, it's really cute. Now, she of course has this really cool, like celestial looking crown on. I love the crown. And she's got gold and, like, purple makeup on. I absolutely love it. Now, her hair. I feel like I'm not gonna brush this because I think it would just become a big, poofy blob. Um, the colour is really nice. And it feels nice quality. It's just a bit of a mess, you know? Like, it could have been styled a little bit nicer. Now, this black bow necklace and the black sparkly bow bracelet are kind of the only two parts of this outfit that I think really scream holiday. And she has this obviously faux fur shawl, which is really cute. She has this little gold moon belt. And then the dress itself, I really like. It, again, it fits her really well. The material is a little bit stiff, but it's still really nice. I love this pattern on the material, it's very cool, it's kind of giving psychedelic. I love the gold details. I love this little bit of black tool which is poking out here. Oh, another thing I really like about this doll is these two parts aren't sewn together, 
which, you know, sometimes they sew these two parts together, which really annoys me. And that's the same with the Barbie doll as well. They're not sewn together in the back, which I'm really happy about. I hate it when they do that. Hey, I actually discovered after filming this video that they sewed the two layers of Tiana's dress together, which kind of frustrates me. I wish they hadn't done that, but it is what it is. Still a beautiful doll. Now, the shoes. <sighs> the shoes. I'm so disappointed with the shoes because I really like the design. They're very cool. They're this cool, like, translucent plastic with bits of glitter in it. There's a gold moon on the outside, um, which I really like, but why is there no heel? Why is there no heel? Oh, I hate that. Like, it's just so out of date. I remember Lady Gaga doing this in, like, 2014, and Doll lines are still giving this, like, lack of a heel thing. I hate it. It's so out of date. It was never that cool anyway. Like, stop! I really want to, like, I want to get some, like, clay and, like, make a heel for these shoes so that they look less dorky. Such a shame because the shoes are, like, really cool other than the lack of heel. The lack of heel just really, really frustrates me. This doll also has great articulation. They're using the old Monster High body mold. I love these little clawed hands that Claudina has. She's got a bend in the knee, which so many dolls don't have anymore. So I love that. Overall, I'm a little bit underwhelmed with this doll. I think personally, I much prefer the one from last year. She's just a lot more like cool and chic, but this is still a really nice high quality doll. I just think some of the design ideas are not to my taste. But now I'm going to rank these holiday dolls. For me, I think the number one has to be Tiana. She's incredible. She's an icon. I love all this layering of the jacket and the shawl and the dress, the little accents and the details and the embellishments. This doll is stunning. So she's gonna go number one for me. The number two is going to be Barbie. This is a really nice holiday Barbie. I'm quite impressed with her. The quality of the holiday Barbie dolls is not as high as it used to be, but you know, that's kind of true across the board with Barbie. I think overall, I really like this design. I really like this doll. I love the cape and the tool. She's beautiful. I love her. Which would have to mean that my least favourite, unfortunately, is going to be Claudine over here. I just... It, it, I, it's just it's just not it for me. Although the quality is definitely really high. And this was a really tricky year to judge. I think across the board, these are all really beautiful dolls. Let me know in the comments which holiday doll is your favorite. It's such a shame we didn't get a Rainbow High holiday doll this year. I'm a little bit nervous about Rainbow High that they might be like slowly dying, but I would have loved a holiday Rainbow High doll. It's really sad. Anyway, doll fans, please don't forget to check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And of course, check out Simon's Collectibles. My affiliate link will be in the description. And I will see you real soon, doll fans. Mwah.